this man and his broken heart over his daughter and his faith in Christ and with this woman, and her expression of faith. I'm so thankful that the scripture lives. How wonderful it is to go back, not to bring the Bible into modern times. What a travesty that is. To go back and relive the scenes so that scripture means now what it meant then. We thank you for the work that you're doing in our lives. We thank you that by a holy decree of sovereign God, salvation was planned for us and, and your power has gone out to make it happen. Power has flowed from you through the work of the Holy Spirit to regenerate us, convert and transform us, and now to sanctify us and one day to glorify us. For this we give you praise in Christ's name. Amen. You've been listening to John MacArthur, Bible teacher with Grace Team. Hey everybody, John A.B. Good here. Welcome to Arizona once more, last time. We are fast approaching the uh, state line of uh, New Mexico. Uh, I can't remember the last mile marker here in Arizona anymore, but we're getting there. We have passed the Arizona uh, port of entry about 10 miles ago, so we can't be too far from the state line here. Anyway, today once again is Tuesday, October 7, 2014. Local time here is 8.24 a.m. Elevation 6,000 feet. We are down to 1,427 miles to Monroe, Wisconsin. <coughs> the delivery date on this is scheduled for Friday at 5 a.m. As early as 5 a.m. And as late as, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's first come, first serve, I guess. Temperature here is 50 degrees. You know, a long, long time ago, I've always had the notion that if I had uh, a substantial amount of money for a capital, for a business, I would purchase a lot of Native American handcraft uh, arts and uh, western wear boots I think they would sell even back home in the Philippines how about you wherever you are in, the, uh, in this world could you imagine your local population be wearing anything Native Americans or a Western Western you know apparel it just I don't know the Native American crafts just fascinates me well I guess it's a lot further than I thought here so we'll turn it back on as soon as but I think it's just around this corner here. Uh, uh, let's just hold on for a minute. Right now we're down to 8 hours and 24 minutes of our availability uh, driving. Uh, we have yet to take a 30 minute break in 5 hours and 12 minutes or sooner. You 
don't have to take a 30 minute break according to whatever that clock says you can take it earlier than that you just can't take it after than that otherwise DOT will give you a $2,750 worth of an award oh two goldies two goldies look at that look at that Ever notice I get excited when I see goldies especially mine there are a lot of goldies out there but mine is special I'm trying to negotiate with my DM to have me home on the 15th but he said that doesn't jive into going back to California load which I agree so I then suggested have me home by 11 back on the 16th delivering to the city of industry once again on Sunday night which is doable I think right leave on the 16th at 5 a.m. let's see one two three that's four days I bet I could make it to California got a little tight no room for errors and breakdowns but I think I could do it I have yet to uh, wait for a reply whether he will let me do it or not. You see, Jesse is arriving at my hometown on the 15th. If I go home on the 15th, I have to be back by Sunday. No. We'll see what happens. Things have always, you know, God's grace always makes it at the end of it all, it always works out. Yeah, we're coming up to the state line here pretty soon. And besides, I can't pass this uh, scenery right here. This is also one of my favorite places here, right here. Die nation, we are sacred. Don't mess with us. That is true. I was watching the, what is that called, the Jade and John show. Um, I couldn't really understand what they were trying to say. Yeah, I did, but I think what what they were trying to convey out there, or what happened was, just in case some of you didn't understand, you know, really what it was that they did something wrong with or a lot of these shippers especially from the west coast 
in LA or Phoenix or all that stuff, those high dollar value loads, uh, for example, a load of TVs or computers, those multi-million dollar loads coming out of the West Coast. Now, I don't, I, I suspect that's what it was. That uh, a lot of these shippers, they want you to load their product and do not stop for a certain uh, distance. They don't want you to stop until about what, 200 miles later or 100 miles later. They don't want you to stop within, for example, in, uh, in, in the Los Angeles area because in the past there has been many, many people that has hijacked them loads. I haven't done one of those loads in a very, very long time, but uh, there's a some kind of a mandate that says once you get loaded, do not stop until you get to a certain distance. And maybe that's what it was. If I if that wasn't the case, well, then certainly in another scenario that if you didn't know is is also uh, true to be. Uh, part to be in the truck driving uh, world and trucking business because there's a lot of hijackers out there that would hijack these million dollar loads again I don't know if that was one of them but as far as anybody following them well if that was the case it had a multi-million dollar load in it. They just want to protect their product. But how how certain people reacted and, and how they came about their attitude of how they said certain things, you know, I wasn't there, so sure somebody can put it one of those big wigs could have said it with a power trip. That certainly would not be cool. Yeah, I suppose that would be a little bit creepy. Especially if it was your first time. I've never had anybody come up to me like that though. But then again, I haven't hauled one of those loads in a very, very long time. Well, this is certainly is the uh, moment we've been waiting for. This is the uh, state line of New Mexico and Arizona. This is one of those really, really majestic places. A lot of uh, evidence of Native Americans living here in the past. And I think this is one of the speedies. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that little truck stop yesterday that I scaled? Wasn't that Speedy's also? Well, I guess there's a lot of Speedy's out there then. Well, at least two of them. A lot of hitchhikers out here. New Mexico state line. Here we go. The land of enchantment. I 
would have added the word majestic in there. Alright, well, we'll catch you guys later. Sorry it took a long, long time, but uh, I hope you appreciate it. If not, well, better luck next time. We'll catch you later, Johnny. Be good here. Have a good and godly day, everybody. Peace in Christ. Hey, Lou, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Johnny. Be good. Uh-huh. Later.